Should pornography be banned? It's a question more and more people are asking as it becomes easier for everyone, including children, to view it. In a recent article, New York Times op-ed columnist Ross Douthat said, we shouldn't be afraid to ban porn because, unlike many structural forces with which moralists of the left and right contend, porn is also just a product, something made and distributed and sold, and therefore subject to regulation and restriction if we so desire. It's an idea that's being considered in some states, and they're tackling it by calling pornography a public health risk. On Tuesday, Florida's House of Representatives approved a resolution saying that the internet is exposing children to pornography at an alarming rate and can contribute to low self-esteem, deviant sexual behavior, and possible mental illness. It made a bit of news as it came immediately after that body's controversial vote on gun bans. And for years, lawmakers in Utah have looked for ways to curb pornography, finding that the more traditional morality argument hasn't been getting that much legislative traction on this issue lately. They're now trying the aforementioned public health risk framework. And lots of folks in conservative circles are talking about it for some reason. <laughs> so let's join them. Uh, let's start with what I assume will be the obvious first issue with this, <laughs> civil, liber civil liberties, yeah. right? Uh, that this is speech, uh, that censorship is not something we like to do in this country. Dave, where are you on this? Well, shockingly, I'm going to agree with you <laughs> on that. I mean, come on, is there anything that's outside the purview of what government is supposed to be involved in? You're literally talking about two people having sex, recording it, and showing it to other people. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, yes, it's like, okay, I don't think porn is great. I, don't, I agree, it has a lot of negative effects. Okay. But do we want to live in a free society or not? Well, well no, it's a, yeah. Ross Douthat saying, as you quoted him saying. I know, you were shaking your head as I Well, because it. he's sitting there saying, well, porn is, porn is a product, so it can be regulated. The New York Times is a product, too. Mm -hmm. So does that mean we can regulate Ross Douthat's writing? Because I think that would be a lot better for America than yeah, regulating. Yeah, it's not <laughs> a great, okay, it's not a great <laughs> argument. But Brian, I mean, you and I have young kids, uh, unlike these uh, childless <laughs> <laughs> single bachelors. No. Um, I do worry. I mean, I was reading earlier that, um, according to some studies, an American child is first introduced to porn at age 11. There is no 11-year-old mind that can understand what they are watching. Right. So I am not opposed to figuring out a solution to keeping porn out of the hands of kids. Yeah, there was an excellent New York Times Magazine piece about yes. this. And the, the quote that stuck out to me was, can children be taught to see porn more critically? Can't, and, and I know that's uncomfortable I don't want them to, see porn. to think about, but if we can take that to teenagers or young adults, are there okay. ways to help educate the, 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 these these consumers of this content. Yes. I think, you know, uh, one of the quotes in the piece is also stood out to me was, uh, no one else is teaching me about this part of my, my life. No one else is teaching me about sexuality. Right. And these porn stars seem to know what they're doing. Well, that's a so whole I other think, problem, right? I think that I did it, right? And that, and that gets to what is being taught or not taught to children yeah. about sexuality. Yeah. I, I think this conversation about pornography, it's directly related to the misinformation debate that's going on about the Parkland uh, survivors. Yes. It's directly related to President Trump today suggesting that uh, violent video games and movies are a problem. It's about all these different kinds of content Searching for that are all available on the evils. internet. So they're, they're so much more accessible than they were 10 or even five years ago. And you, know, you think about how technology is accelerating and our society is not keeping up mm. with the accelerating pace of technology. And, that, and that's true for pornography, just as like it's true for hoaxes about shooting survivors. Right, no, that's a good point. Uh, uh, another argument that's being made, um, Daily Wire has a, a, a post about it, uh, mm -hmm. for example, is that porn is the same as prostitution. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just doing this mm -hmm. act on camera and sure. selling it, That's... and prostitution is illegal. Right. To that you would say, Andy? Uh, prostitution should be legal. <laughs> <laughs> That's... That's easy enough. Uh, you know, it, it's just, look, there, were, there was some research done back in 2011 that showed that one out of every six or seven internet searches was for porn. You really think you're going to put that naked genie back in the bottle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This, this game is over. And, and what this boils down to, though, and, and you know, the, you have the state saying, well, it's a public health risk. All of this boils down to, I don't like porn, so it should be banned. Because the, the thing with porn is, you cannot actually do research on causation, on whether pawn, uh, porn, like, leads to rape or sexual assault or mm. because if it does because if you do that research and it does you are exposing yourself to a lawsuit because someone who commits an act can say i did this because you showed me this porn so there is 
practically no ev no yeah. studies done on this. So you can I can find you studies that will say that watching porn leads to sexually aggressive and, and violent behavior. I can show you others that say it doesn't. I can show you others that say it actually leads to a decrease in this behavior because it serves as an outlet. outlet yeah. So anytime anybody says watching porn leads to X, don't believe them because we honestly do not know. Do you think there's no argument that, David, it could be a public health issue that that pornography, as as you said, is it's not great, maybe, especially if it becomes an addiction or something like that? I, or... I certainly think there's an argument that you could be made to say porn's not great or an argument that certain video games aren't great or that alcohol's yeah. not great. I mean, about 50% of people who commit murders are drunk when they do it. Our cars kill a lot of people every year. Swimming right. pools do, too. That's not the point. If you're talking about illegalizing something, it's what are you prepared to do to someone for this? What are we prepared to do to businesses? I mean, you know, heroin's really bad, but now we got 50,000 SWAT raids a year, a militarized police, and the highest incarceration rates in the world. Mm -hmm. It's like, what the government should stay out of this. This is not the role for a government in a free society. Is there a role for government, though, with regards to helping our, our society understand what they're consuming? Uh, be more literate, be more critical about what they're viewing? No, uh, I, I really think this, I think this is a, a role for parents, churches, local communities. I don't think this is something that the police should be coming in and dealing with. I would put it on the technology companies a little bit as well. Oh, that's These tech companies, these, these companies, they have a lot of our money and a lot of our time and influence. They also have the ability to make things better or worse in some of these situations. No, I never thought about the idea of teaching young adults how to view porn. Not but children, but teenagers. I said, I said young adults. I teenagers. Said young adults. Uh, but I'll have to get over some of my prudish <laughs> notions. Okay, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, Crime and Justice with Ashley Banfield is next.